Hey, everybody. Brittany from HeatSpring here today to talk to you about the NABSEP PV Associate Credential. This is the best credential for anyone who is new to the solar industry or newer to the industry. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the different ways you could qualify. But if you're looking for a way to demonstrate your knowledge and your skills and the fact that you have a foundation in solar technology, this is a really great place to start. So let's get started by talking a little bit more about who NABSEP is. NABSEP stands for the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. And they have been around since 2002, and they're a nonprofit, and their mission is to support and work with the renewable energy and energy efficiency industries, professionals, and stakeholders to develop and implement quality credentialing and certification programs for practitioners. So they not only have this PV associate, also known as the PVA credential, they also have a number of board certifications that require experience, education, and a lot of different things that you can move on to beyond the PVA. So Let's get started and talk about eligibility requirements. So there's two main ways you can qualify. The first one is the education pathway. And that's when you take a training course with a NABCEP associate registered training provider. And HeatSpring is a registered training provider with NABCEP. Our prep course is called the Solar PVA Bootcamp plus NABCEP PV Associate Exam Prep. And that's a really great course. If you need to get your foundation built on solar, on the market, on technology, on components, all these different things. It is a really great course to give you that solid footing. So once you're finished with the course, students will be able to apply to take the PVA exam right with us here at HeatSpring. So they'll pay a $150 exam fee and Submit your application. We'll process it on Orient, and then you can go ahead and schedule your exam. HeatSpring is so confident that you'll pass your PBA exam after taking our prep course that we'll actually cover your retesting fee in the unlikely event that you should need it. The second pathway for qualifying for the PBA exam is called the Experience Pathway. And you qualify for this pathway if you've been working in the industry for six months or more. Candidates will submit a verification of work experience form directly to NABSEP, along with a letter written on company letterhead from their employer, which describes their job duties and their length of employment. Candidates will then also pay their testing fee directly to NABSEP if they go through that experience pathway. So what's covered on the PDA exam? The JTA is a blueprint for the exam, and it also outlines all the core things that somebody new to the industry should know. And then from that, job task analysis is what they derive the exam from. And so here's the primary content areas covered by the PV associate. We see application, sales and economics, design, installation, and operations and maintenance. It's really a good idea to check out that job task analysis for the PDA before you take your exam and make sure you feel really confident in all those different areas that are mentioned in that document. What can you expect with the PDA exam? PDA exam can be taken in either a measure, measure learning testing site or it can be taken any location like your home or your office using NABSET's remote online proctoring. Candidates get up to two hours to take the PDA exam, which consists of 70 multiple choice questions with four choices per question. 60 of those questions are scored and 10 are unscored pilot questions. You won't know which ones are which, and a total scaled score is used to determine if you pass or fail the exam. And a scaled score of 65 is required to pass the PDA. So let's say you get 65 or higher and you are now a PB associate and you have your PB associate credential. Awesome job. You will need to remember to renew your credential every three years. And so the first cycle starts on that initial day of credentialing and it'll expire three years later. To renew, you'll need to complete at least 12 hours of approved continuing education. 
and Keats Spring offers tons of course options. Just reach out to us if you need help picking out a course for you. You have your PDA and now you want to go for a NABSEP professional certification. Lucky for you, having an active PB associate credential counts as 18 hours of advanced training required for the PD installation professional certification and also the PD technical sales certification. Both of those require a total of 58 hours of advanced training. So having an active PBA will count as 18. Then you'll just need an additional 40 hours as well as OSHA 10 and experience in each of those fields. If you have any more questions about getting your PBA, whether you're totally new to the industry or you've been in the industry for a few months, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at heatspring.com. We're happy to answer any questions you have about getting your PDA, courses that you need, or to renew your credential as well. So thanks so much, and we'll see you in class.